Welcome back to another exciting episode of AP Basson. Here with Blair. It's early in the morning. Just got back from Wisconsin last night. Pretty exhausted. But we're going to go pond fishing. And I'm going to be throwing a topwater all day just because I want to throw a topwater all day. You ready? Yeah. You want to get some food? Yeah. All right. Let's go get some food. Hi, try a carrot muff. Hello. How can I help you? Hello. How you doing, folks? Fishing with Flair here. Fishing with AP Bass today. Gonna catch a toad. Oh my gosh! Parrot caught one in a tree. It's in the tree. It's in the tree. Get him out of the tree. Get him out of the tree. He's stuck in the tree. Oh. There you got him. Right. Oh my <laughs> God! I lost him, dude. Eric is struggling so hard to land a fish right now. Okay. Yep. Yep. That was a pretty predictable fish right there. That is my first fish of the morning, right there. And that's when you know they want it, when they eat that mouse like that. First one of the day. There you go. Did you see that? That was really far out there. This frog was like underneath the water. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was bad one. That's a real good one, actually. I'm so far today. Skinny guy. They are skinny. I noticed that. Look how big that head is. That's a big head fish. All right, guys, just caught the second fish of the day on that little white scum frog. That one kind of hit it when the frog was underneath the surface. I think the perks of this frog and why they're kind of eating it today is it's smaller. Uh, we're supposed to have a really hot day today, so I'm trying to trying to finesse fish them with a frog, if that makes any sense, just downsizing. No, well, that doesn't make any sense, but you know, it's fine. There you go. That's a good one. Keep up. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's not a bad one. That's number five for you. So yeah, five. for the boat. That's number five right there. Throwing that little white frog again. Throwing that on a wow, that lighting is trash. So I'm not gonna talk about what I'm throwing it on until we move around to the other side. All right, I'm switching up to the Senko. Number one tactic, it seems like. Little one knot Gamagatsu drop shot hook. Five inch Bass Pro Senko. There you oh. go. Oh, smoked it. It's a good one too. That's really a good one. Dude, that thing waked on it hard. There you go. There you go on the wacker. He's kicking my butt right now. Cool. I was reaching out for my camera so I was going to film you. And I had one on the whole time. There oh, we go. Got fish number two. There's my fish number seven to Flair's number two. Flair's hooked up in the background there. Dink on the Texas rig Senko. I'm throwing the uh, wacky rig Senko. That one came on this uh, weightless Senko, throwing braid to fall carbon, which really enables you not to set the hook very hard. I know uh, sometimes I kind of break off because I set it too hard. You've kind of got to condition yourself. I've changed to a light rod here. Uh, this is a 610, just a light rod, and that then enables me to not break off as much. And, I, and I'm using 20 pound Power Pro braid, uh, free promotion for them right now, and that's just always good. And I'm throwing an eight pound test leader to a one out Gamagatsu hook. And I'm just kicking Flair's butt right now. I got six on the frog and one on the Senko. Or two on the Senko, but they were dinks. And what do you have to say to that, Flair? Uh, I'm working on it. Yeah. Oh, Fagan? Better. Oh, yeah, it's decent. There you go, Flair. There we go. Starting to somewhat figure these fish out. After taking notes from El Perique in the one. back. I got Hold my camera. All right, I got you. Oh. All right, we got another double. 
Oh, oh wow. okay, here we go. Wow. Here we go. Let's see how giant that is. Look That's at, that is a giant. Might need to hold it closer to the camera. I don't think this this GoPro picks that up. Oh, look at that right there. Giant. Giant fish. So we got the first or the second double of the day. Player, second double. Player's got a nice one. I got fourteen thousand cameras going on right now. Yeah. YouTube problems. Better one. Oh, got you. No. Oh. Might be a good one. Is it? Eric thinks he has a nice one on here. Oh, oh dude, God. it's giant. He barely ate dude, that Senko. He just nibbled on it. And Peric has an absolute slon. I'm hooked up on a giant. No. Oh, all right. All you right. got one? All right, we got an issue here. We got an issue. Can you, can you take oh. my camera? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just caught this slaunch. Flair's hooked up on his fish. It's not a bad one either. Uh -uh. Seems like whenever we film. Dude, whenever we're just screwing around. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm going to put mine back in the water for the release. Good? A yeah. We're doubled up. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it's I mean, it's better than. I think it's your biggest one. It might be my biggest one. Yep. Oh that's yeah. Oh that's god, that's a giant. That's a giant. <laughs> that's a giant. That's a giant. Yeah. I think that's bigger than mine. It might be close. Would you grab my camera? And... All right, I just caught one. There's my fish. Flair's got a big one. Grabbing his camera. Grabbing my camera. How big is it? Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's like a... three, three and a half probably. Oh, oh, I think that might be bigger than mine. It's gonna be close. We need, remind me, do not let me forget to take pictures of this. Yeah, I don't. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> That's a really good We were good just one. talking about how uh, Peric was whooping my butt on the wacky versus the uh, the weightless Texas rig, and I just caught that freaking donkey, dude. Oh, yeah. That's freaking sweet. That's awesome, dude. Oh, oh god. my god, it's That's huge. a giant. I'm sitting here yapping, and Eric's got a, got a, probably the big one of the day for sure. Okay, Alex. Just lose this How fish. not to land How a, not to uh, land a good, four good pound one. bass 101. Oh, Boom. Boom. Look at that. That one, that little one out hook just hooks him perfectly when you're using that wacky worm. Awesome fish. Man, that gets me pumped. All right, put this big beast back in the water. Good fish, Peric. Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting segment here on Talking with AP and Flair. Today I'm going to be going over my baits, what I caught my fish on. If you want to check out what this dude, Dweeber caught his fish on, go check out his channel, Fishing with Flair. Link's in the description. First off, it was we started off pretty early this morning, and I was throwing a white little scum frog. And that scum frog kind of, it, it sunk a little bit, but it did float. The key was working this bait very slow. 65 pound test braid, 7.3 heavy rod, fishing shallow. Next, next rod and reel combo was a 7 foot, or a 610 light action rod. This enabled me to really let those fish eat the Senko and hook them right in the corner of the mouth. One at gamma got to hook, braid, 20 pound power pro braid to an eight pound fluorocarbon leader, Stratic 2500 size. My favorite spinning reel by far. Those are two rod and reel combos I caught them on. I kicked. Nah. Any, any, yeah. what is your excuse? Let's hear your excuse. Well, I have fished many tournaments as a co angler, and I've never been backboated so bad in my entire life. I knew that excuse was going to come, but he was missing fish and he was just not being able to cast. I, I, mean, I think my, I might have had the big fish of the day, though. It was close. It was debatable, but I caught two, two very nice fish. I caught two good ones, I caught one good one. Either way, we I both... caught more numbers. Like to be honest, you also missed like a two pounder at the boat though, which made you look really bad. You know what? I saw it a better. Thanks again for watching this exciting episode of AP and Flair on the back of my truck. 
Today was fun. Now I'm going to drop foot off at the airport in a couple hours. I'm going to get some sleep. Tomorrow's video of a travel vlog should be exciting.